You think I should pull it? Which one? No, which one should we do? You, you, you pull it. I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> I'm frightened. You, you pull the thing. Can you reach it? You do that one. Go. Pull it. that. Well, we're here. We've arrived at uh, Evergreen Antiques. And uh, if you see the familiar face right to my left. Hi, BC. everyone. How you doing? How you doing, BC? I'm good. How are you? How's it been? It's good. How's yeah, things I'm going? Good. Can't How, yeah, when's the last time we saw you? The last time we saw each other was at the Spear of Halloween store. BC, what is going on in here? BC. Uh, so we're gonna go inside here, this, this place here, right here. And uh, we're gonna get Ooh, a, we're gonna go. we're gonna have some fun. Look at that. I like that. I like that shot right there. Look at that shot. Ooh. See it? That yeah. could be that could be the thumbnail. Sounds good. Yeah. Just point. Yeah. So we're in the antique. We're in the antique section, Brandon. We are. Um, yeah. Actually, look at that. We can, we can see each other in the, in the mirror there. So we're in the antique section now. This isn't the actual show, though. No, right? it's not. No. It's just the store. Yeah. A lot of cool stuff in here, stuff in here for sure. Uh, Alright BC, ready All to right. do, uh, do some uh, hunting? Let's do it. So these were, these were uh, the old He-Mans and I believe they were just in a, in, in a video uh, that was reposted uh, last week. This guy especially was. Why can't we just get along? We're deformed, why can't we all just blend in with society in general? And this guy here, uh, I believe was uh, something about the meeting of the deformed toys. You know what we'll call my eye though? What's that? What we'll call your eye, BC? Captain Planet. Captain Planet. Wow, look at that. He's our hero. Yeah. He is every, Captain he's every Planet. hero. Oh, yeah. He's taking pollution down to zero. Yeah. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's doing that. So, look at these dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, those, those things, those dinosaurs. I do see the dinosaurs. What's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, Brachiosaurus. All right, what are we looking at here, BC? We got some what? Keychains, and we got Buzz Lightyear. We've Incredibles. got uh, Incredibles, look at this. This guy here looks like uh, Kofi Kingston. And we've got Nesquik. Nesquik. Oh, a Nesquik. Cool. You remember, longtime Root TV fans remember the Nesquik jacket. It'll be over in 20 minutes to drop off the nest quick. Have you lost your mind? I said I'd be over in 20 minutes with the nest quick, Cracker Jack. The end. I just really love this jacket. More Star Wars in there. And we've got. Who's your favorite Star Wars character of all time, DC? Hmm. Princess Leia. 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 Yeah. Fell in love with her as a kid. Big time fan of Leia. You know, I have a cousin that looks exactly like Leia. You know that? I did not know cousin that. Cousin Lauren. She looks like exactly like Carrie Fisher. That's Like young awesome. Carrie Fisher, yeah. Unfortunately, she lives in Oakland. Yeah, uh, that's a hike. So we can't bring her to the car, to the toy show today. Oh, wow. Oh, how awesome is that? That's really awesome. Got a Texas Chainsaw. There is a neon lit it. Kind of these are homemade. Uh, here we got. Oh wow, Exorcist. How awesome is that? Ridiculously awesome. Uh, you ever seen uh, BC? You ever see Clockwork Orange before? I have. Yeah. Malcolm McDowell. Yeah. Yeah, a little, dis a little disturbing, right? A little disturbing, but I still like it a lot, actually. Yeah. And, um, there's another 
it. There it is. What is that one? Oh, that's Jaws, right? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Taker. He's just a monster mania. You got Macho Man Randy Savage. You got Warrior. Uh, what's your name, buddy? My name's Tom. Tom, um, how you doing? I've been doing this for eight months. Eight, and, mo eight months? Eight months. Looks like 18 years worth of yeah, stuff here. Say. Holy cow, you're talented. Yeah, and uh, awesome. I, you know, we keep all the Funkos in a box, and yeah, I'm like, what do we do now? And this is what exactly. I came up with. So, yeah, no, yeah. dude, it's awesome. Yeah. How? how uh, let's see. How, have you Have you been uh, at, to any of the horror cons yet? Not hard cons yet, but yeah. I've been doing more of um, toy shows and stuff like yeah. that. Just trying to keep it going. Yeah. Like, what's the next evolution of this? It's only it's only going to get bigger. I mean, if you're going to eight, eight months, and, where, and where, can, where can people find you on the inter, on the internet? Um, I have an Instagram. So everything oh, yeah. I actually Instagram uh, this thing right here. Yeah. All right, get, hit the QR code right there. Is that there? It is right there. Follow us on there. Yeah, every time I. Build something new. I post on the on the internet. People reach out all the time. It's um, awesome, man. I do a lot of a lot of custom stuff for people. So love it. I mean, to see what you do with some Pokemon pops. Nice That's to meet true. you, man. Nice to meet you too. All right, cheers. Yes, man. No problem. Man. How we going? Yeah. Right here. This guy right here. That is Giant Gonzalez. Wow. I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. You've done your homework. I, How did you know that? Isn't it obvious? I mean, come on. How that was you, a bodysuit, wasn't it? How did you hold, hold them up to you get the? How did you know that that was Giant Gonzalez? Because of you. But you were young. You were young. You weren't even alive. You weren't no, even alive. I wasn't, I wasn't even a sperm. Oh, oh geez, I got it. I wasn't even a sperm. Oh, oh geez, I got it. Youngins, youngins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Roddy Roddy Piper was one of my favorites. Roddy Roddy Piper, Jake the Snake. Yeah. All those guys. I did toys. I think the last new wrestler that I really liked was Hornswoggle, but uh, <laughs> how can you Dylan. have like a miniature wrestler? Yeah, exactly. Right, Favorite gonna... wrestler of all time and why? Mine? Yeah. Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero and Eddie why? Guerrero. And why? Why? Because you weren't even a... Well, yeah, you were alive when Eddie was around. I was. Yeah. And, you know, he was the first wrestler I watched growing up that made me realize, you know, like... Eddie. 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 Yeah. Well, the one What's I really... your favorite Eddie match? My favorite Eddie match. Oh, man. That, that's tough. He versus Brock Lesnar and No Mercy for the WWE Championship. Right. That's a fair one. That's, uh, that's when he won it, right? That's when he won it. And I cried like a child. Favorite wrestler of all time, Mr. Cruz. Favorite wrestler of all time. Oh, yeah. Macho Man. Randy Savage. Yes. R.I.P. R.I.P. I do, I do a pretty good impression, though. How you doing? Thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Mr. Cruz gonna buy some Randy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. Favorite wrestler of all time, old school or new school? Go. Uh, old school, I'm pretty sure. Who's that? John Cena. John Cena, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's pretty up, he's up there now. He's up yeah, there. Yeah, he's up there. I mean, to me, John Cena is an old school. I'm, 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 uh, to me, John Cena is still, still newish. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I put him in between because he's old school because he was there before I was born, but yeah, yeah, he's yeah. still new. You're so. making me feel very old right now. <laughs> That's the job. Yeah. That's the job. I can feel the gray hairs coming through my goatee right now. I already shaved mine. All right, All right. All right so favorite wrestler. Uh, all, we'll go any any era, 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, current. What, which one are you going with? For me, probably Slaughter. Sergeant Slaughter. Now you, S Slaughter. Now you were telling me something about he got he got you in the. <laughs> oh, absolutely! I met him at RetroCon a few years ago, and yeah. uh, he was a great personality. I mean, his real life personality is exactly yeah. what you would hope. Yeah. And it put me in the camel clutch and just had a ball. You know, yeah. it was nicest guy possible, and it's nice. We met him a few years later. And right away remembered me. Hey, yeah. how you doing? How are things going? It was nice, you know. Yeah. Nice when you can meet your childhood hero or one of them. So my favorite wrestler of all time. I, I don't tell many people this. You know why? People people look down on you when they tell you this because uh -oh. because he well he's, he's sitting over here. He's sitting at this table, and I was telling Brandon that he's the he is the scariest action figure in this whole place. You know why? Because he's a legit murderer. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so my so my favorite wrestler. Of all time. Benoit. What's that? I'm Chris How did Benoit. you know before he I knew him, him before you picked up off the table. <laughs> Mr. Chris Benoit. Now, I'm not justifying what he did, but before he did that, he was one of my favorite, he, he was my favorite wrestler. But you had the, why'd you do it, Chris? Why'd you do it? T say, uh, yell at him. Why'd you do it, man? God. He, uh. What are your thoughts on him, on, uh, on Chris? 
as a wrestler, he was great. Yeah. It's unfortunately what the steroids did to him. Messed up his brain. Yep, yeah, exactly. You know, like, I, I mean, you can't justify what he did, but unfortunately, medical reasons, it, it you know, it, it's tough. Yeah. You know, it, it's definitely, it was a black day in wrestling history. I agree. You know, it was definitely a black day in wrestling history. And I feel like it was just yesterday, and it really wasn't. Yeah, 2007, I'll never yeah. forget it. And, uh, you know, he's... Uh, He's blacklisted ever since, rightfully so. I mean, you kill you kill your wife and kid. That that's yeah. what happens. So that's why I said he's the scariest figure because we have all these, you know, Michael Myers. You got <laughs> Texas Chainsaw. You got it. But they're all fictional horror characters. Here's a, a true murderer. He's a true murderer in tights. And it's funny because I knew exactly who you were talking about even before you picked it off the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty good price too because you can't. Yeah, he's find very it. detailed too. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. Look at the face. Yeah, they got the face dead on on that, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. No pardon the pun, dead on, right? Yeah. <laughs> pardon the pun. <laughs> Captain Lou. Captain Lou Captain Albano. Lou. Awesome. That's a mm -hmm. great throwback. Yeah. They gave him too much abs, though. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, they gave him too he much abs. He should have had a little more of a belly more than exactly. that. Well, well what, I'm, what, what he's definitely missing, and you and I both remember, is the chest hair. Yes. So where where are the where's the luscious locks of chest hair? <laughs> I was gonna say he's missing his overalls and red Mario hat. Oh, okay. You're yes. going Mario. I, yeah. yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna get going, my Thank buddy, you. and uh, we'll we'll see you around. All right. Nice to meet you. All right. Chris, meet you by the too. Way. All right, Chris. Brandon. Take Brandon, care. Pleasure. Someone we see fly. In a land that I wish for once, in BC's lullaby, day upon the window. To are we? What, what, is, what are we doing here? What kind of show I is this? I don't know. No idea. What, what kind of show is this? By the way, what was your favorite Root TV video of the past year? Past year? Yeah. My debut. What's that? My debut. Your your debut. My debut. The Toy Fair. That's one. a toy show. But no, this Monster Boss Monster Mania one is really good. All right, all right. Well, I found your new toothbrush, BC. I'd rather not. No? You don't want to use that. Uh, it looks pretty fresh. It looks, it looks like a fresh a fresh. Uh, a uh, soft bristle? No. No? I'm good. Not into it? Can I talk about something now? Yeah, talk about whatever you want. You, you talk about I, the Atari, I do already talk about 2600. The Atari. So, unpopular opinion. Yeah. Maybe quite popular opinion. Atari had the best box art. They really did. Huh. I think I think you might, because they're kind of like hand-painted pieces of yeah. art. They're not, they're not like, um, you know, photographs yeah. or, or There's a really or cool book on Amazon called the, um, the Art of Atari. I haven't bought it yet, but yeah. it's just like all the games and all the cover art. I wasn't, see, I had Atari. I'm old. And I really wasn't a fan of it. Like, I, it was, some of the games were hard to play. Maybe it was because I was super young. You had to use your imagination. Yeah, and, and but but I really, I, I once Nintendo, all bets are off, of course, but... Um, I don't I, collect for Atari anymore. Yeah. I just kind of stopped, but this was one of my favorite games on the console. On the console. Yeah, there it is, and there's the console right there. Atari 2600. 2600. And look how excited that guy is in the box, right? Indeed. That guy sold, how many, how many copies do you think that, how many consoles do you think that guy sold with that expression? Three. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna go a baker's dozen. Who is that? It's Mr. Magoo. Look at that. That's nice. What year do you think that is? Yeah. I'll tell you right now. Let's see. 1989. 89. You remember the days of watching Mr. Magoo, right, BC? I can't say I do. No. I remember the cartoon. Vividly. Well, I mean, just so you don't remember it. No. Not really. Well, just, I mean, I know who he is. But just for just for. You know, we're, we're rolling right now. It's, it's a TV production right now. Yes, yes. Let's just fib. Tell me about the Saturday mornings, uh, BC, about the Mr. Magoo show you used to watch. I used to watch him every Saturday morning. Yeah. I had a bowl of Fruity Pebbles and used to sit down on the next to the television set and watch Mr. Magoo. What was your favorite, what was your favorite episode? My favorite episode when he was being Mr. Magoo. Well, he's always Mr. Magoo, but what did he get? What, what, kind, of, what kind of shenanigans did he get into uh, on the episode that was your favorite? Maybe the crossover with Dennis the Menace? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah that's a good one. 
The Bro Show, you can see up here. And uh, I think I think the man himself is here, and we're gonna go pan down, and I'm gonna go to the left, and is he here? And there he is right there. Oh, How no, are you doing? Oh, there he is. Wait, wait, don't talk to this guy. My name is Gordon Shumway, and I'm the one who really runs the show here. This is all my show. I'm selling his stuff so I can get food for myself. Kitten kibble is what I'm looking for. Ha! Ah, I kill me! Uh, Alf, Alf, calm down for a second. I'm gonna talk here. All right, you talk for a moment, I'm gonna sell stuff. So, hi, I'm, my name's The Bro Show, and I'm having a lot of fun today. We're here at the Toy Show here for Raiders of Lost Toys. And guess what? We have a lot of stuff for sale, but also, be sure to check us out. When we're online, we're with Brunch with Bro, then we're on Peg Warmers from time to time, and also RetroCon 2023 coming up in September out in Oaks, Pennsylvania. Be sure to check it out because I'll be hosting a trivia contest, a retro t-shirt contest, most likely judging a karaoke contest, and we're gonna have a lot of cool guests. We've already announced two already. Sam Jones, Flash, ah, and also, don't go oh yeah, You can count on me. You know him from BJ Nebera. I know him from my two dads. Greg Evigan's gonna be there too. Make sure to check it out. Rock on, everybody. Hashtag just bro it and do a good deed a day. Just bro don't it. listen to me. Don't listen to him. Listen to me. Buy me cats. I need kitties. I'm, I'm starving here. Look at me. I'm wasting away. Ha! Ah! All right, thanks, guys. Thank you, Al. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. Good me my name's Gordon, by the way. Don't forget. Oh, Gordon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Shumway. Shumway. <laughs> Shumway. Mr. Mr. Shumway. Yep. Nice to meet you, Mr. Shumway. You're uh, welcome. Yeah, yeah. No, bring me cats. I'm hungry. Uh, I'll, no. Ha! <laughs> All right, thanks. Thank nice you, Nice to sir. meet you. We'll see you around. We'll be around. All Thank right. you so much. Retrocon. Rock on. Let's retrocon, right? Let's go. Retrocon. Yeah. Let's go retro. I, let's go retro and BC. I know. I know you're afraid of Gordon, but I need to get you. Uh, Give me a. Get, yeah, yeah. This is all mine, sir. Yeah, thank you. It is a good pleasure to meet you, sir. Now, yeah. do you have any casserole uh, pins that will fit a cat? I do not. Well, that's just sad, but that's okay. Just don't let me in your kitchen, I'll blow it up. Good to know. Okay. <laughs> all right. Ah! You think it's nasty? It's very nasty. Uh, how about, you know what? All right. How about you, you want to eat it? I got something for you. What's right? that? I got an Ahmed Johnson figure. You want to eat an Ahmed, oh, yeah, yeah. Ahmed right. Johnson figure? Enjoy. Enjoy Ahmed. Enjoy them. What you getting, BC? Metal Slug 7 on Nintendo DS. What is it? Metal Slug 7. Yeah, the the audio sucks. You got to say it loud. Metal Slug 7 for the Nintendo DS. Better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Comes you. with the soundtrack. Yes. The manual. All right. The slip cover. Yes. And the game. Thank you for the audio uh, raising. You're welcome. All right. We have... Thank you. Yeah. You, did you pay for it yet? Not yet, but pay for well, it. Well, you, you can't say thank you until you, you pay sorry. for it. You get the money to transact. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, all right. Handshake agreement. Handshake and a hot dog. You got it. All right. You pay the money. There we go. It's, it's true. It's real. It exists. It's all real. Yeah. It's not it came smart. out of the Huawei ATM this morning. Oh, awesome. All right. All right, Brandon, what do you see in the background there? Squishmallows. Squishmallows, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we like squishmallows, don't we? We do. Yeah, what's your favorite squishmallow? Probably the Grogu one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Look at all the squishmallows. Let's, let's, let's say squishmallows together simultaneously. One, two, three. Squishmallows. squishmallows. Yeah. yeah. I think we've exceeded the cringe limit with that segment. Just a little bit. Yeah. That's right. What's up? That's fair. <laughs> Both one good. Oh yeah, let me see. Strong though, strong. Better than you. <laughs> look at the head. Look at that. Look how small the head. It's like Beetlejuice and uh, remember Beetlejuice and um and uh and uh yeah yeah or or uh BC. Yeah. See if your see if your hand could cover up that guy's entire head. Well. Palm it, palm his head. There you go, yeah. Small. Yep. Well, oh, he's goofy though. Look at that. Do the thing. Do the thing. Well, guys, that's it for Raiders of the Lost Toy Show here in uh, Woodbury, New Jersey. Uh, it was an awesome antique store, awesome show. I really had a good time with Rue TV Original. Uh, well, not original, but Rue TV uh, regular, I should say, BC. I didn't really buy too much, actually. The only thing I bought was, uh, well, <clears throat> I am the champ. I'm the champion right now. And uh, I think we, all right. I like that.
That's cool. What's that? I like it. Well, yeah, of course you like it. I got a good deal. It was $5. $5. $5 from the lady over there. I think it's worth about 50 honestly. Because it's rare. It's out of print. It's out of, I mean, this is, what, 2003. And it's mine. And I am the champ uh, of the Raiders of the Lost Toys. So I'll take it from you one day. No, you won't. Yeah, I'll try. Well, gonna, I'll do my best. No, you're not going to ever take it from me. No, yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Get out of here, DC. All right. Bye. Yeah, Bye. You can be out of here. Bye. You want. <coughs> Well, this guy's crazy. Yeah, this guy's know, crazy. It, it happens. He's a crazy it, person. It happens. Okay. He's a crazy. Well, that was fun. So I'll only talk about my haul. I bought one little thing. Like the last toy show we went to, I'm on my quest of buying as many DS games as I can find for a good price. Metal Gear 7. 50 bucks. Good deal. Comes with the soundtrack, the slip cover, everything. But that's BC signing off. See you in the next video. Until next time. It's not gonna be another next video. So we think. Apologize, apologize. I'm sorry for breaking your shoulder. I'm an old man now, fragile. That's fine, okay. Fragile, just like all these antiques, I'm fragile. Fragile. Right, get, 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 get.